So we've all seen the latest gaming keyboards and mice with support for macros, but the assumption being made here is that every customer knows what they are and what they're good for, without anyone actually taking the time to explain it. So in just a few words, a macro is a way of creating a faster, easier shortcut that lets you perform an otherwise multiple step process in just one step. They're most often created to speed up and simplify the execution of repetitive tasks. Some applications like Microsoft Office actually have excellent built-in support for macros, allowing you to create your own shortcuts to execute complicated, pre-scripted strings of commands, something I used to use quite often in my old job in marketing and product management when sorting out gigantic spreadsheets. But most of the programs you use, including games, have no or very limited inherent macro support. So that is where fancy peripherals with macros come in. While some allow macros to be recorded directly on the device, most use their own custom software to create multi-step commands and save them to a small built-in memory chip on the device where they can be executed with a single button press. This allows the user more flexibility to customize their macros. All right, Linus, this seems pretty simple. I pre-record something like, lol, that's so funny, thanks for sharing it. Then I only have to press one button to have the perfect reply ready every time someone sends me a sweet picture of like, a cat wearing a hat or something. What could I want to customize about that? Well, actually, a couple of things, the most important of which is the recorded delay between each of the discrete commands. That pre-programmed input bit from before is a perfect example. Normally, I can only type as fast as my fingers can move, but an email client or word processor could easily accept that entire sentence all at the same time. In this case, I would actually want to execute my macro with no delay. But that's not always ideal. In a game, it might be beneficial to create a macro that calls in a holy strike, waits two seconds, activates a lightning resistance buff, and then three seconds later casts, I don't know, Firefly Swarm or something like that. So you can see how this would be a great thing to be able to control. Generally speaking, macros support playing back with the same delay with which they were recorded, injecting a fixed delay, or removing all delays for instant input with some supporting manual input of the delays. While this feature is most often present on products targeted at gamers, there are plenty of legitimate uses for reprogrammable keys that support macros macros outside of games as well. And in fact, when the Logitech G15 keyboard first launched with its impressive 18 programmable G keys, it was a gamer and productivity enthusiast dream come true. And both of those groups of people were flocking to buy it. So there you have it. If you've got a gaming keyboard or mouse, there's actually a very good chance that using the software included with the aforementioned computer peripheral will unlock this functionality for you. And once you get the hang of using macros, they're fast and easy to create and very, very useful. Speaking of very useful, Josh from Fractal Design gave me a call the other day about advertising on TechQuickie and he kind of goes, well, yeah, I was talking to some of your viewers and they were telling me they're tired of hearing you blab on and on about sponsors at the end of every video. So if we do this, I want to do something a little different. Instead of a normal integration where you talk about our quality PC cases and power supplies with minimalistic Scandinavian design and outstanding customer support, I just want to buy the sponsor spot and watch you get pied in the face instead. I figure that'll be pretty fun for everyone. So I pondered his idea for a moment and then it hit me. I've done worse for 20 bucks, never mind what one of these sponsor spot costs. So here we go. So um, if you guys appreciate Josh's approach to sponsoring Tech Quickie and you want to see more of it, hit up the Fractal Design Facebook page linked in the video description and give it a big ol' like. While you're at it, don't forget to like this video and share it if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, and leave a comment with your favorite uses for macros or any suggestions you have for future fast as possible episodes. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.